This is a terrible time of adversity for the whole world. Anywhere you put your finger on the map, you will find all kinds of trials that people are facing. You know, life can throw you some curves. And it's not just the things that you see coming, but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over it. And we, you know, are dealing with a lot of normal times where people feel like already their plate is full. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, there comes these unexpected things that just make us feel like we're overwhelmed and you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full. And you already said, I can't take another thing. And then out of nowhere, here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it. This question, am I going to make it, is something that each and every individual is asking themselves all over this nation and in many places of the world. And in your homes, somewhere in your heart, these words are echoing, am I going to make it? Is my business going to make it through this economic trial? While this nation and this world are caught in a storm, while we're saturated daily in headlines of despair and doom, while we're watching the world that we live in shaken to its knees, do not think for a moment that Christ is not aware. Do not be fooled about the voices of the cynics and skeptics that say, where's your God now? He's not worried about this storm. He's in control of this storm. He's not concerned about the outcome. He's the one who holds tomorrow. He knows exactly what's going to happen in our future. While these winds and these waves of turmoil seem to tear our world apart, we need to understand that God is in control. God is not disconnected from this situation. God is not unconcerned about his children. God is not unaware of what we're going through. God is in total control. Are you in the desert of your days? Are you going through a great storm? Are you discouraged? Are you weary? Are you frightened? Are you overwhelmed? Our God is a miracle working God. He is going to bring us through this crisis. We are going to be more than conquerors in this crisis. There is a storm. But God Almighty is still on His throne and everything is going to be all right. Shake off feeling sorry for yourself. Shake off don't nobody love me talk. Shake off all of that talk of, you know, being a victim. It's time to encourage yourself in the Lord. Stand up to life. Stand up to this challenge and encourage yourself in the Lord. It's bad. We've lost a lot and we don't have a guarantee of anything in the future except God is with us. We are never alone in our adversity. He's always there. Sometimes you don't feel he's there. Sometimes you wonder where in the world of God are you? He's always there. You remember that verse? I will never leave you nor forsake you, period. You cannot walk through one moment of adversity as a child of God without his presence. I will never leave you nor forsake you, period. Not except if what? No. A child of God is always in the company, in the presence of Almighty God through His Son, Jesus Christ, who lives on the inside of us. What an awesome assurance. When I am lonely, he is the friend that sticketh closer than a brother. When I am sick, he is the great physician. When I am under attack, he is my high tower. He is the shelter in the time of the storm. In the day of battle, he is my fortress, my shield, my buckler. He is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord who is there. In the greatest storm of my life, he is walking toward me on the water in the midnight hour shouting, Fear not! It is I. I will never leave you nor forsake you even to the ends of the earth. That's the kind of God we serve, triumphant in the day of trouble.